the experience the disciples had in going out two by two and casting out demons seems to be more exorcism types rather than the coming alongside and loving and empowering a person. And then why do you think it seems to take a prescribed tact rather than what 99% of counselors and pastors think is the best approach by praying scripture memory and doing more aggressive approaches? For instance, if my pastor had a counselee who was abused and had blocks and personality issues and the pastor was just doing a scriptural prayerful direct approach encouraging the person to pray and ask God to help them, but that's not the right way to do it. Why wouldn't God just look past their wrong way of doing it and help in anyway? Well, I think the, the well, the, the first thing here is, yeah, well, what we see in the Gospels is basically exorcism. It's not, you know, the kind of thing that we're talking about here. So I would agree with that statement. Uh, the next thing I would say is I think I think the the questioner might be misunderstanding what Fern and Audrey are saying isn't as effective. Uh, nobody's going to say that going to biblical passages, uh, memorizing them, you know, repeating them to yourself, you know, that that are going to have a direct relevance, uh, relevance, you know, to help the person with whatever it is that they're struggling with. Nobody's going to say that that's unhelpful or wrong. Okay, you know, the this praying scripture memory. What they're going to say is counterproductive are prayers of renunciation. And prayers of renunciation can be formed using scripture, so maybe that's the point of, of confusion. I, I don't know. I I don't I can't recall Fern and Audrey bringing up a specific prayer of renunciation. I mean, I, I've seen these things and I've literally seen one that's twelve pages long. I mean, it's just ridiculous. That to to insist that the person pray this prayer of renunciation. First of all, they're not possessed. Okay, so there, there's a disconnect there. And they've had the, Fern and Audrey have had the, the experience of people praying these long prayers, uh, either by reading them off or by trying to do it through through memory, memorization. And when this renunciation tactic doesn't work, the thought that immediately overtakes people is that I must have done something wrong. I must have said a wrong word. I must not have read it well enough. I must not have read it often enough. In other words, Fern and Audrey ob- object to this because it makes failure the victim's fault again. Okay, It just compounds the sense of guilt that they have that – God isn't helping me because I'm not doing something right. Okay, that that sort of thing, and that's what they object to. Uh, so the use of scripture is is actually what Fern and Audrey do, uh, but they they don't just they don't just say quote this Bible verse or memorize this Bible verse. What Fern and Audrey actually do, and again, it sounds a little a little maybe zany, but they teach people biblical theology. That's what they do. They help them to think better about what a passage says, what it means, again, how it fits into a larger theological picture as opposed to just repeating the words. Now, they would, would tell you, and you know, I would tell you with them, that renunciation approaches and scripture memorization, if it goes no further than that. In other words, there's a difference between memorizing scripture and knowing what it means. Again, I'm not opposed to memorizing Scripture, but let me just be blunt. You are better off knowing what a passage means than you are memorizing it. <laughs> you just are. Uh, there, there's, If you had one or the other, hey, you can memorize these words, or you can really know what it means and then internalize it. I think that's kind of a no-brainer decision as to what, what would be preferable there. And so what they try to do is, literally, they try to teach people how to think biblically, theologically. And this is what first attracted them to the divine counsel stuff, because as they began using some of that in with their clients, not only did they say our, our clients just understood the concepts and the language, because in the, in, the, in the case of the ones who had been ritually abused, if they had some connection to a satanic cult, or if they were being programmed, you know, to just to think bad theology— 
th- they were able to really sort of detect and appreciate and internalize and process a lot of the divine council stuff very quickly. Uh, in, in other words, it mattered to them in significant and almost immediate ways in some cases. And so that, that's what drew them. That's what sort of drew us together. Um, those, what is it now? Six, seven, eight years ago, whatever it is. Um, because they, they just saw that it was very useful. So they actually focus on helping people think well, helping th- people think better and specifically, you know, with theology. So you, you have to use scripture for that. Again, they're not going to oppose that. But they're going to emphasize content and understanding and internalizing that over just reciting verses. Uh, it, it's, you know, they're, they're two related things, but they're not, they're not the same. Now, on, on, a, on a broader scale, again, like, like I said, they're, they're going to meet people, they're going to know people that renunciation approach helped. You know, there's, there's no like silver bullet here. You know, there, there, certain things are going to click with some people, other things won't. They're, they're just deathly afraid of working with people and doing things with them where the person will think that they've done something else wrong, because that's one of the fundamental lies that victims are told. This happened to you because God is displeased with you. This happened to you because God doesn't love you. This happened to you because you're, you're evil and wicked and you deserve this. Okay, these sorts of lies that people are told. And so Fern and Audrey are very careful to not do things that creates that, you know, create that, those kind of traps but again, they're they're gonna they're gonna know people that yeah you know this this approach helped them and and God bless them you know it, it's wonderful you know that, that people get helped. 